Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Git Crash Course. So today, as you can see on my screen, we are going to talk about how to work in Git locally. So there are four points that we are going to talk about today. First is what is Git commit and how to execute it. Second, what is Git status? Third is what is Git add? And fourth is can we commit and add at the same time? So these are the four points that we are going to talk about and we'll do the demo. So let's dive right into the video. So before moving forward, I want to introduce this Notepad++. This is a very good software in order to edit or write some files. I usually like this. Uh, it's not a hard and fast rule that you have to use Notepad++. You can use anything else. You can use the Windows default Notepad. But I like this one. So all you have to do is just Google Notepad++ and just click on the first link that comes. At the recording time, it's 8.14 is the release, latest release. Just go inside and look for your bit version in your system OS. So there is a 32 bit version over here and there is a 64 bit version over here. I already have installed it, but I'll show you how to install it. So I'll download the 64 bit because that's my OS is and I'll just click on the installer and it'll ask me to download. I'll just save the file and it will get downloaded over here. I'll just click over it. I already downloaded it. So I'll just click over it and it will show me a pop up like this. I'll choose the language. I'll click on OK and it will show me the pop up like this. All you have to do is just click on next, click on I agree and it will take the default C program files. You can change it accordingly, but I'll just choose the default one. Click on next. Nothing has to be changed. Just click on next. Either you can create a shortcut on the desktop or not. Like it's totally your choice. Click on install and it will install. Once done, it will just ask for you can just unclick, unselect it or just you can click over it and finish. Once done, it will open and show you the latest feature that it has been having in this release. So this is what having. So yeah, this is the tool that you guys can use and I'll do my whatever script I'll write. I'll write in this only. So let's dive right into the video and we'll talk about get how it works. So once done, open your git bash, just type git bash over here and hit enter. Once you hit it, it will open. Let me drag it and this has opened. So let us see where are we right now. Like, let me type pwd and I am in the C users ravish.rava. So what I'll do over here is I'll just go inside logic ops lab which I created long back and do an ls over here. So I have an existing project in a fresh project. If you remember, I created something in the existing project. So let us go inside the existing project. So I'll just do the tab and do an ls over here. You can see there are a lot of files. But what happens if you don't have any file? Let us create one file. So let's go back and let's go into the fresh project. We'll talk about the other one later. Okay, so let me show you what do we have here. We have only the directory over here. So let me just clear everything. Now what we'll do, we'll just plan things over here. And we'll talk about the, the basic file that we always have. We do not have any file over here. So let us create a file over here. I'll open Notepad++ for me. So let me drag it over here. And I'll create a readme file over here. So you can give any command of it, it doesn't matter. This is readme.md file. It hardly matters what it is, and you can just save it. It'll ask you where do I save it. So you have to go inside uh, your disks and you have to go to type the users, and then you have to go inside the um, folder that you create. What we created, my username is Ravi Shravat. I'll go here. I'll go in the logic ops lab and I'll create a file over in fresh project because there is nothing. So I'll just name it read, let me give it capital readme.md. That's all. That's all you have to do. And just save it. Now I already have a file over here. Now what I'll do is I'll just click over here and do an ls over here. And I'll see what, ha what I have over here is now I have a file. So now what this file will do is we have to commit it. There is nothing much over here and we will just commit in this file. So let me push it over here and now we will talk about this. So if you want to see the content of it, let me try if this works for you. Readme.md and let's see if it shows anything. Yes, it has shows showed this is a readme file, which is what we wrote it over here. 
Now, what we'll see is that we already have a master branch over here. So your branch is master. Whenever you create a new repository, it is always master. You can change it theoretically, but you should not do it. It's, it's not a good practice to do. So do not do that. So now what we have to do, we'll just check the git status. So if I check the git status right now, it is saying that we are on branch master, which is perfect, but there is no commits yet. We have not committed anything. This is a fresh file. The file is untracked. So what we have to do, we have to, in order to track it, we have to put it on stage and we have to then commit. But right now there is nothing to be committed because, but untracked files present. So there is nothing to be committed. And then there's an untracked file present, which is the readme.md file. Now it is saying in order to add it, you have to use git add command. So let's do that. So what I'll do is I'll just do git add and name of the file. So what is my name of the file? So read me dot md this is my file you can just hit a tab let me show you you can hit a tab that's all so if i do that let's see what happens so as i told you earlier that no show is a good thing so it has showed nothing which is perfect so now what we'll do is let's see what git status say right now so if i press git status he said no commits yet you are on branch master but changes to be committed so now it was read before it's green now it means that it is on the staging area. If you remember in my last last to last video, I've talked about the staging area. So it is in the staging area. You can unstage it, but we are not talking about that right now. So this is where we are right now in the staging area. Now, in order to commit it, this is the command. Let me make some space over here. Let me clear this. Okay, I've pressed it wrong. So yeah. So what I'll do is I'll do git commit hyphen m and let me type first commit. You can type initial commit as well, which is fine. Hit enter. So what it is saying, master root commit. This is the code. First commit is my message. And this minus or hyphen m is the indication that you have to put a message over here, which is first commit. One file chain, one insertion plus. It means there has been one insertion and there was one file that has been changed. So this is done. So that's how you commit your file. Now what you will do is you'll type git status. Let's see what happens. And working tree is clean because you have nothing to commit and there is nothing in the staging area. And there is a file over here. So this is how you do things. Now what we'll do is what we'll add something else in this environment so let's say this is a second line if you cannot see it i'll just zoom it this is the second line and i'll just save it once i save it see let's see what happens let me drag it what happens so last time what we did is we did a git command in which we added it and then we committed now can i do something like adding and committing at the same time. So you can take a shortcut step by adding and committing at one step. What you have to do is git commit. Let's let's try git status first. And you can see there is a file that has been modified and it is in red. So again, that it's saying that there is a file, but it is not staged. It's not in the staging area. So in order to do that, what you have to do is git commit. I'm typing, typing commit over here because I'm clubbing two commands with each other. So hyphen A for add and M for my message. And then I can type adding together. Let's see if this works and this. So you can see that master this, this is my code. This is adding together, which is my message. One file change, three insertions, one deletion. And let's see, do an ls over here. You can see in a readme file, let me clear this. Now, if I type git status over here, you can see on branch master, nothing to commit and working tree is perfectly clean. So that's how it works, guys. So I hope you have understood everything. This is what we are working in locally. We have not talked about anything about remote. We'll talk in, uh, in our future videos. And this is how we do it. So thanks, guys. If you have anything that you have not understood, feel free to comment below and we'll address that. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.